What is up, people? Dev Sage here, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about hoisting in JavaScript. So, what is hoisting? Hoisting is the process in which variable declarations get pulled to the top of or hoisted to the top of whatever function it's currently inside. So, let me give you an example. If I were to say x equals 4 and I tried to console log x, will this give me an error? I mean, I didn't use the var keyword here. I'm just saying x equals 4. If I run it, it actually does not give me an error. Um, why not, though? I mean, surely it's an error to not use the var keyword. Um, well, what JavaScript does is when it runs, it automatically goes to the top of whatever function scope this is. In this case, it's the global scope. But it automatically goes to the top of the function and it declares it. So this is what JavaScript puts in automatically var x. So that way we initialize it here. You can actually initialize it legally and then we use it here in the console log. So this is what we see. But this is what JavaScript does behind the scenes. And it's the same way if we were in a function. Function a x equals 4 console log x. It's if we call a it's the same thing. JavaScript goes to the top of the function and declares it for us. So while variable declarations are hoisted, initializations are not hoisted. Meaning I can't try to use a variable before I've assigned it a value. Um, so while this would be legal, this right here, I couldn't do this. Console log x, x equals 4. What this turns out to be is it still gets hoisted to the top, but I never give it a value. So when I try to console log this, this will be undefined. Because this is an initialization, not a declaration. Initializations are not hoisted. So that's just something to keep in mind. Another thing, doing this you initializing a variable without using the var keyword is very very bad practice the reason being is any variable that isn't initialized with var let or const is available in the global scope so while x is inside of a I can also access x from the global scope so yeah so this console log, I'm console logging x, the x that's inside of a, and I'm able to reach that. And it doesn't even matter if I have, let's say I had a function b inside of a, and x was inside of b, and let's say I called b from a, I'm still able to access that x, x equals c, uh, 3 that's coming from inside of function B all the way from the global scope so that's very very bad practice you to you're, you're polluting your global scope every time you use or if you try to initialize a variable that hasn't been declared using var so that's just a little bit about hoisting really quickly um, if you like this video leave a like if you want any more if you have any requests for tutorials you know leave them down in the comments and yeah, peace.